Hey, 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 today I'm extremely excited. I'm super excited to share with you about this resource that I use to build my Pinterest presence, my reach, increase my reach, increase my follower base, and above all, because this is what's most important, increase my tra traffic to my online assets, my websites, my offers, subscribers, and sales. So I'm building my list with this resource and I want you to really, really take a look at it. You can either go and create your own free uh, account and take a take a and take a, a test drive of this for I think 14 days, or you can go straight ahead and just jump in and start using it uh, by taking out the various packages. You can also promote promote it as an affiliate. Uh, for that, you would have to connect with them and uh, basically be given a link that you can do that. For now, I want you to understand that I have been quietly testing out the pin Pinterest resource. You, those of you that know me will always understand that I've been always promoting a different type of, of uh, resource and tool to build my Pinterest follower base and um, and and my my reach. But I've been testing out the pin Pinterest resource, and I can't tell you how excited I am for you to see the results that I've got so far and how you two can use it. So let's get in without further ado. You would need to uh, sign up to create a new account. To do that, you just simply click on sign up and you enter the details there. But I already have an account with them, so I'm just going to simply log in. And uh, and once I'm in, when you cr when you create an account with them, um, you are able, let me just do that. You are able to uh, to log in and 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 start learning and and start earning followers not earning them but actually getting them by road as you can see i've so far got over 200 new followers with this resource on autopilot i don't do anything i don't have to touch it all i have to do is set up and uh, and 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 i'll be doing as you can see my subscription expired i definitely i'd have to do something about that why did that expire is because i took out a paid package otherwise you don't have to but when you do, when you do need to do some stuff, you can take out a paid package. So ignore that. So let's do this, okay? As you can see, I've got 201 new followers using this resource. And I'm going to show you how that happens. I've had 985 pins pinned on my behalf. I've, uh, I've followed uh, a, tot a total of 2,360 followers. That's what I had. Uh, I've unfollowed 1,994 people just quietly. Uh, I've scheduled seven pins. I could have scheduled more, but you know what? I had lots of things to do, and I'd already set other things to be pinned, so I didn't need to be starting here scheduling. Um, I've had 39 pins pinned from my site map, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, no likes. I've not liked anything. using. You can set up for, for it to like stuff for you, but I didn't want to do that. I prefer to do that myself. I've sent 265 comments. And I've not invited any user to do anything with me because all these these are all the things you can do and it shows you your statistics and your analytics, what you've done and how you've grown. Amazing, amazing stuff. Now, you can set yourself up to only unfollow people that were followed by Pin Pinterest. That's very important. Or you can unfollow all users. Now, this is what happens. If you do this, Pinterest goes and unfollows people that you've already followed every five days. Now, the, the danger with this is they'll unfollow people who you want to stay followed, you, you want to keep following. And, you know, people who you're learning from, they'll just unfollow them. And there are people who've added you to their uh, pin boards, they'll just unfollow them. So <laughs> you don't want to do that. So I'll answer that in a minute. All right. So this is where you, this is where the juice starts. As you can see, as you scroll, it highlights where you are. We are on my dashboard, and this is where you start. And uh, when you click start, you can auto pin. You can take it off. You can take it off. You can uh, uh, let's just go back up there. You can pin from your website. All that means is you can pin directly from your website, or you or, or you and. Pin Pinterest allows you to do that. Like I said, this is all about Pin Pinterest. It's a resource I started using a month ago. Um, before that, I tried it for 14 days. I think I, I about three or four months ago. And then a month ago, I decided to give it a good old run and see how it works. And I took out a paid package just to see how it works. Because when you're just using the free, 
they're organic. You don't really, you can't really tell whether the, a, a resource is actually giving you what you're paying for, what your money is worth. And while I won't tell you what I paid, I'll tell you that it has been worth every penny. You can schedule pins, like I told you before, I scheduled seven pins and it pinned them to, I, and I set those pins to pin to about 15 pin boards each. That's a, that's so seven times 15. Each of those pins was pinned to 15 pin boards at one point without me sitting there and, and, and doing it myself. As you can know, you notice, I commented. I said, I, I did 265 comments. And now I, that would mean I'd be sat on Pinterest looking for, uh, for, for pins that are, are in alignment with my brand and commenting on them. Instead, I told Pin Pinterest what I like, as you can see. These are my tags. In other words, these are the things, the, 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 the topics and subjects I want Pin Pinterest to actually look out for and drop comments. Home business, internet marketing, blogging, Pinterest marketing, travel, vacation, holidays, places to see, social media marketing, social media tips, home business training, Pinterest tips, blogging tips, make money online, coaching, DIY, inspirational quotes, teaching ideas, funny, and weddings. You don't ask me why I, why I put weddings there because I love to see wedding dresses. I'm just one of those soapy people who likes looking at people looking good in their wedding dress and crying even if I don't know them. <laughs> so, and I've got a, a board with weddings. You know, there are some topics that you just have to create a board for because they are trending and someone is looking for something of that juice on Pinterest. And if you've optimized your assets on Pinterest properly, you will find people will find your content as opposed to other people's content. And I've already told you before that I love Pinterest and I am a Pinterest uh, fanatic. I've written a book on Pinterest, The Art of Pinterest Profits, where I've definitely added Pin Pinterest as a resource. And uh, in my next update of the book, that all that will, will be updated. I've written, I've created a course on Pinterest. It's called the Ultimate Pinterest Roadmap. Again, it's, it's packed full of value, eight modules, video modules, teaching you how to leverage Pinterest to grow your business. And this, I can't tell you how excited I am about this resource that I'm talking to you about. Funny enough, guys, I am not affiliated to this product, so I'm not promoting it or anything. I'm just telling you because it's something that has worked for me and I know it will work for you as well. So, hey, kudos to Pin Pinterest creators because this is an amazing tool. Uh, you can follow people. As I've told you, uh, I have followed over 200 people use, uh, of using this this resource i've unfollowed over 1900 people using this resource like i i told you i am not in the habit of just unfollowing people so um instead i allowed pin pinterest to unfollow the people that i followed through pin pinterest so let's go to how you create um to cre you create tags you create tags right here this is where you add the tags you want to add. If I want to add something here, I could say social media, social media marketing is already there. Uh, Pinterest marketing is already there. Uh, if I want to say cryptocurrency, crypto, crypto, cryptocurrency, and I, and, and, I, and, I, and I click comma, it becomes a tag. If I add Bitcoin, And I add comma, it becomes a, a, a tag. Uh, if I just add Bitcoin, the reason I'm doing this is because these are these are these are trending things. When something is trending, you want to be in with a chance. Uh, so you have to add stuff right there. So let's look at uh, how many pins per day you should be pinning. With Pin Pinterest, I highly suggest you allow them when you're new to set the limits. And, and as you can see, these are the limits that they set for you per day. 45 pins per day, 70 follow per Pinterest has a limit of 100. You want to set your limits just below Pinterest limit. So every day I allow Pin Pinterest to follow at least 70 people for me. And I allow Pin Pinterest to at least unfollow 70 people for me. To I allow them to make 70 comments on my behalf every day per day. And to invite uh, per day, four people per day. And uh, there's only one sitemap, which is my sitemap. And uh, when when I talk about sitemap, I'll show you what I mean. So let's get into the meat and potatoes. Right here is where, here is where the juice starts to flow. This is where the rubber meets the road. Um, you want to 
you want to pin relevant content to your pin box. Obviously, you've already created a pin. You can only uh, use Pin Pinterest by logging into your Pinterest account, which I'm already logged in. My Pinterest account is Jekalunji. So that red there is my Pinterest account, and you're looking at my email as well. Um, so what you want to do is you're wanting to, um, to set the things that you want Pin Pinterest to do for you. So you choose which pin boards pinterest will pin whatever stuff they pin on your behalf make sure that those pin boards are either pin boards created by you or pin boards that you are actively in so you're not going to pin stuff on uh or you don't want to pin pinterest to pin for you on group pin boards because the only things you want to to pin on group pin boards are your pins you don't want to pin other people's stuff on group pin board because you're going to it will skewer your analytics you, uh, pinterest will say this you, you pinned this pin and it's got a lot of a lot of uh, engagement and it's not your pin you pinned someone's pin on a group board so you want to only pin your stuff to group boards so as you can see i picked only uh boards that i created that are mine even if they are group boards they are my group boards i created them I had direct sales resources, uh, health and fitness, um, DIY crafts, um, summer fun is not one, amazing beaches and destinations, DIY success, creative articles, business opportunities, all these are my own personal pin boards, food, desserts, sweets, food, fast recipes, gorgeous pets, inspirational quotes, online business, uh, social media marketing, self-improvement. All these are my own boards, and that's why I allow Pinterest to pin on them. Everything else belongs to somebody else. Okay, that's my own board as well. Ah, okay, so I've opened up that one because it is my board. So there you go. You, you want to choose only pin boards that belong to you. So as you can see, I am not only part of numerous group, group boards, I'm actually, uh, I, I, I have over 60 group boards and half of those are actually group boards. I, I have over 60 boards and half of them are actually group boards. So, and I make a point of only pinning to my own boards because I don't want pin Pinterest to pin stuff that's not mine to group boards. So that's done. And in order to turn off, you simply just click off. And to turn it on, you do that and you turn it on. And that means pin pinterest will pin, pin stuff for you to that board that have the tag travel, that have the tag vacation. Those are the, the pins it's going to pin to that board for you. Now, you want to invite people to your boards. Um, I don't let pin pinterest do that for me because I want to, I want to, I want to, um, I want to check people out before I add them to my boards. So I've only allowed it one board. I've only allowed Pinterest, Pin Pinterest to invite people to one board. And it's, the, it's a board that I created for co-working. And as you can see, it's all about uh, uh, collaborating and uh, joint venturing. So that's the only board I've, I've allowed Pin Pinterest to invite people to. Uh, otherwise, I leave the rest to do it manually. So pin content for yourself from your site. Now, this is where you actually let Pinterest know what your site is. And I've already set mine up, so I can't show you how to do it. Um, but uh, this is where this thing is. So as you can see, as I scroll down, pin Pinterest shows you where you are. On the, on the, this is the navigation panel where it shows you which part of the site you are. And this is the viewing panel where you can make changes once you get to that part of the pin Pinterest panel. So, pin Pinterest uh, back office. As you can see, uh, I've allowed pin Pinterest to pin content from my website uh, to these to these boards: blogging success tips, branding you tips, and uh, jewelscalpoly.com. And that's it. Why? Because you don't want to allow them to, to pin from too many boards. Um, and they will pin content from your website because you'll tell them which one is your website. And therefore, you want them to pin stuff from these boards to other, uh, to other, to other, to other, other boards around, 
uh, around the around the website i'll actually open that up as well and uh, then this is exactly now once you click on a a board you want to pin to pin pinterest then asks you which is your link what is your website link so And therefore, you answer what your website is. So, test sitemap. They've already tested my sitemap already. So, all I have to do is... Um, and they'll tell you whether your sitemap is valid. So, you've got to test your sitemap. And then you save. And Pin Pinterest will actually pin stuff from there to this board uh, from your website. You can also add more stuff. Let me see where else uh, I can add. Um, and I'm gonna just... And I'm gonna test that site map and see whether they can actually get stuff from it. There you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Sitemap is valid, so save sitemap, and therefore they can pin stuff from that to my travel board, which is amazing, and I can do that as well. Same thing, add so as you can see, test sitemap. They've already tested the sitemap, but I just want to show you how things work. And therefore, you can you can you can let in Pinterest pin stuff from your various places to uh to 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 to, to, board, to the board from from my website. Now this is where you also want to add uh, pins to 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 group boards because this is coming from your website to a group board. So it is okay. Um, best Pinterest marketing. I love to have more. There you go. So I've added a few to show just to show you, and I'll probably come back and change things around a bit. But that's what you do. So you have to have a website for this to happen. You have to have content on your website that's pinnable because Pin Pinterest crawls your website. And, and once they see that you've got content, your sitemap is great. Uh, they ask, they tell you your sitemap is valid. And then you can say, uh, yeah, say, you know, pin stuff from my, 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 my website to boards, to those boards, because you've chosen the board. You can choose that. You can choose uh, to pin manually. Um, and this is where you can schedule pins. Like I told you earlier, I, I scheduled seven pins and they were pinned uh, to, to, to my to the pin boards I chose. Because I've already chosen all this automatic stuff, I do not have to schedule anything manually. But if you're running an event, if you're doing a giveaway, if there's something you really, really want to tell people about and you want it to happen on a specific day at a specific time, this is where the manual scheduling comes into its own. And it's quite simple to do. All you have to do is add a new pin and you, you put in uh, the website from which you want to pick a pin. So I'm just going to pick up um, a, a, a URL. This is my URL from where I want them to pick a pin. Uh, and there you go. The server is not working, so I can't do anything at the moment, unfortunately. Don't know why, so don't ask me. Um, sorry about that. But you can, oh, I know why. It's not working because I, 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 I took out a paid package and it's expired. So obviously I can't do, I can't do manual scheduling. This can only, but if you're taking out, um, when you start, when you, when you do, when you're doing your sporting day trial, they'll let you do this because once you're doing your trial, they let you have full access to everything. And then you can do, once you're done with your 14 day trial, you either pay up and pick up a package or you can only do the basics. So I don't want you to, to think that this is free. Uh, there's too much, too many people talking about free, this free, this free, free, the other. And yet in real life, we, everything you have in your home, you bought. 
and everything you have in life you bought apart from the things that you received when you were born and are free your life your breath and and, and things like that the air you breathe the paths you walk in and uh, everything else you have to pay so uh obviously i would i would need to pay up in order to be able to schedule a new pin and i'm not going to do that right now as uh, to showing you my bank details but i'm definitely up upgrading in order to uh, schedule a pin so really that's it's very simple as you can see it is that simple to set up it's unbelievable these are all the pin boards you've got inside of your pinterest account that is linked to pin pinterest so you can you can let pin pinterest uh start pinning stuff for you um any blessed day i would say use this to actually pin stuff to to group boards where you can actually go out there and and and, and enjoy the the power of group boards the power of group boards the power of group boards i would say definitely go use pin pinterest to change your pinterest from normal day to day i don't know i use pinterest every day uh, to just do I, I just go and pin to automating automating is where the the juice is at automating so you are free it frees your time to go out there and serve people in the things you're best qualified to do other than sitting down there manually doing stuff automate your systems so that you can make more money that's what these these tools are for to help you automate these systems so you can make more money so in the same way as you automate your systems to make more money you up you actually uh, pay up so that these systems can only can also stay up and running um because the people that create all these things definitely have to have to pay to play so it's it's within your power to also come out here and test out their resources you have 14 days to test out pin pinterest and if you like it and you feel it's going to add to your success goals please do go ahead and add it uh, if i had an affiliate link i would definitely give it to you but i don't uh, this is all literally saying just do this uh, and, and enjoy the product and uh, let me go up there and uh, update my subscription until the next video uh, i hope you enjoy pin pinterest as much as i am enjoying using it and take care bye for now